All right, YouTube, as always, like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. The great legendary story of the Loch Ness Monster. No, I'm joking. Okay, so this is a heater core. You guys have heard the horror stories of heater cores. If you take a look in here, that's pretty much what entails in a heater core. Yes, your car gets ripped into half. Yes, it does. Okay, if you look at the melee that I have in front of you here, organized melee, none of the yes, but if you look, this is your heater core. It goes into the heater box. Now, what happens is the coolant flows through here. It travels through and heats up. It's right behind your dash, it blows. What happens typically, how you know this is going bad, is you have no heat and the shop told you because they flushed it or they found it failed. Or what's most common is because this is over the passenger floor most of the time right here, you will get a buildup of coolant and drippage that will go into the carpet and you'll smell it. Coolant smells strong like syrup and it'll be a wet kind of not sticky, but it has kind of a greasy texture to it. it. Smells like syrup and it'll be on your floor, either orange, green, pink, etc., which is what happened with that. So if you have leakage on the floor, you probably need a heater core. And I do want you to consider the car that you have because it may not be worth it. This job was 1600 bucks. So you have to pick your poison. This Honda is low miles and it'll probably run forever. But depending on what you have, you may or may not want to walk away or just drive it in the summer. 